All right, so your first step is to apply a base coat and let it dry. All right, and then your next step is to paint it to thick coats of a white polish. I already applied the first coat, so now I'm applying the second one. And then you want to wait for that to completely dry. All right, you're also going to need a cosmetic sponge for this. I got that one at Dollar Tree for a dollar, and they actually come in a pack. All right, you're going to take a yellow nail polish. And hopefully you could see this. And then just paint the upper part of it, the yellow polish. Hopefully you could see that. I'm just wiping the side of the nail polish brush onto the sponge. And then you're going to take a light orange polish. I'm using Sunny Side Up from Wet n Wild. And you're going to take the brush. And make sure you paint it a little bit over the yellow. Not like this though, a little bit over the yellow. And that's just so the colors kind of mix up a little and you can get the ombre effect. And then on the bottom third of the sponge, you're going to take a light blue polish, or you can also use a dark blue if you'd like. Just going to take a light blue polish. Oops. And then paint the bottom of it with blue. Alright, and then taking the cosmetic sponge, you just want to dab that onto the fingernail. Just dab it on. I'm going to dab a little bit more of the blue on the bottom because I feel like it didn't show up. Still fresh, quickly apply either a top coat or a clear nail polish over the fingernail to blend the colors together. And then let that dry. Alright, and then taking the cosmetic sponge you just want to dab that onto the fingernail. Just dab it on. I'm going to dab a little bit more of the blue on the bottom because I feel like it didn't show up. Alright, and then your next step is to create the palm tree. I recommend starting at the center of the nail and then work your way downward. And then dip the brush back in the polish. And then maybe you could start from where you want the first palm to start. And then work your way in the center. And then, in those empty spaces, just gently add some small details. It's not as hard as it looks. It does take practice though. And then wait for the palm tree to fully dry. Alright, so your last and final step is to add a top coat. This will seal in the design. 